Welcome to Controls Explorer. This video will show you how do you communicate between two Rockwell or Allen Bradley processor. Say for example, from one control logics to another control logics or between a control logics and a compact logics or between two compact logics. Now, one of the most common practices and very easy to use the concept of produced and consumed tags. What it means, one PLC produces the tag, the other one consumes the tag, and vice versa. So, let's go ahead with the project. So, once again, understand the project concept. In this example project, we have two compact logic processor, but those are different processor. The first one called line one, we have compact logic L23E, and the second one named line two, and we got L16ER processor. Remember one thing, both the processor got a different IP address. Line 1 got 192.168.0.10, whereas line 2 got a similar but dot .20. Currently, actually I'm online with both the processor. On the left window, we have line 1. On the right window, we have line 2. And you can see all the controller tags. We have selected the monitor tags of both the processor. Now, you have tags like line 1 to line 2, as well as we have tags line 2 to line 1. See it very carefully. Whatever line 1 to line 2 we are typing here, the second processor immediately receives that. And the same thing when you type line 2 to line 1, it comes back to the line 1 on the left window. It's like both ways communication and we can communicate a binary in form of double integer or well as real so that we can use decimal points. You should be definitely able to build many more tags but just for this example we kept it very simple like two on each side double integer and real. This is the project looks like, so let's build it from scratch. So let's refresh once again what exactly we are going to do. So we have line one, compact logics, L23E, and line two, compact logics, L16ER, with the IP dot 10 and dot 20. So this is line one. We have exactly the same compact logics now, which is L23E. Now, right click on its Ethernet port, insert a new module, and our objective over here to insert line 2 CPU, which is L16ER. But make sure you enter absolutely correct the IP address, which is dot twenty. This is how the first PLC recognizes the second PLC. Remember one thing, save the project. Now, again, we are into line two. Do exactly the same thing like you did for the line one. In right click the Ethernet port, insert the first CPU, which is L. 23e once again make sure you are entering the exact correct IP address which is dot 10 for this one save the project now next we would be creating tags that would be exchanged between the two processor. So double click the controller tags, make sure you have selected the edit tags and start typing the tags now, like line one to line two, double integer. Line one to line two, that will be in the real format. And the other way, line two to line one, double integer, and line two to line one, real. Real means we can 
exchange the decimals. Now, right click, select the properties, and we would like to declare the first two tags as produce tags. And the last two, again the properties, edit tags. Here we select consumed, hit the connection. Over here you see the line to processor, select OK. Do the same thing for the last tag as well means consumed connection line 2 you also need to type the exact tag name save the project and let's copy all the tags we will paste those tags to the other processor now so this is our line 2 once again we are in the controller tags and we just pasted the previous tags right over here note one thing here the produced tags of line 1 are the consumed tags for the line 2 and vice versa that is the produce for line 2 are consumed for line 1 anyway now save the project and let's download it to the respective processor so this is line 1 we are downloading the code this is in the program mode and eventually we want to change it to the run mode. So we have it in the run mode. This is the IO module. Well, this is now we are in the line 2. We do the same thing. Download to the line 2 processor. Again, changed to the program and we will change it back to run mode. So right now we have downloaded both the codes to both the processor, both are running. Let's have a look into it. We open controller tags, this time monitor tags, not edit. So we have line one to line two binary, line one to line two real, and again have a look into both the windows exactly the way we started at the very beginning of the project. Thanks for watching.